welcome back to my channel which is all about my super sorry i'm out of breath i was just carrying my luggage this morning it is 6 46 and i am here in the dallas area so i'm getting ready to drop off the baby to get the transmission built here so um, I'm gonna have it built by Brian Scholl. He has a lot of builds under his belt when it comes to transmissions. And as you can see here, I drove last night, left home at like seven, got here at like 11, it was a four hour drive. So I won't see this for another three to four days. So at least for you are, who are watching this, I am going to cut it so conveniently you won't have to wait. Sorry, it's so dark in here. You won't have to wait for the three to four days. It's all gonna be conveniently cut for you and you'll be good. So I'll go ahead and stop the recording here and I'll start recording it once I am dropping it off and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. A few minutes later. All right, guys, some time has passed now, and I finally got the car back. So here's Brian, uh, Brian Scholl. He's the one that built my transmission. So I guess just give us a quick walk around of what we have done to, to um, the Supra. First, uh, of course, pull it out. Um, I take the C and the E hubs, machine them down, take them from a six clutch to a nine clutch. Uh, pack both uh, Robestus Hybrid HD clutches. Um, the B clutch is added a, a disc, so it goes from five to six with 50% more service area. Um, and then the D clutch, it goes from four to five discs. And then the A, we leave the same, but everything is converted over to Robestus Hybrid HD clutches. Um, the pan is a quart deeper pan. Um, and then we switch the oil out to AMS oil synthetic uh, fluid. Um, so you just get more cooling, uh, you know, better friction, better all around. Perfect. Yeah, and then uh, what's about the power level uh, that we can expect with a build like this? Um, easily 850 wheel horsepower to the ground. That's how much I'm pushing right now. So it should be, you know, above 900. Um, I've had no issues with mine. It's been in there for uh, 5,000 miles and yeah, I, wow. I don't drive lightly. So this is the <laughs> seventh one in the DFW area that I've done. Um, and had no issues. Vincent Ryan has one of them. He's got a Pure 800 95 car, um, and I've done his. He's had no issues. Stephen Kahn's had mine done. It's pretty much, you know, um, I'm real proud of what it's done so far and how capable it's been. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give it some jam and, you know, put, uh, put Oklahoma in the map because I know you guys have some crazy fast Supras. Yeah. I got I to gotta feature your car on the channel because your car is, like, freaking insane, yeah. too. I need to get that thing out there here soon. Yeah, for sure. Like, and then uh, Stephen Kahn for PRT Performance. So um, that's that's a go-to guy here in the Dallas area. So if you guys are in the DFW area, definitely hit him up. Definitely hit up Brian uh, so he can get your transmission built um, done. And, you know, quick turnaround, awesome dude. And very responsive on just any questions that I have. So let's see what this can that what this will do. And I mean, if it's handling power on your car and you know, Vincent Ryan's car, I know that, I mean, you guys got some fast ass yeah. fucking cars here. If it's handling like, like a champ, you know, then then uh, mine should be fine. So oh, yeah. I'm pumped. Next yep. couple of clips will, once I of course break it in, 100 miles you said, right? Yep, 100 miles. And uh, you guys will see what it can do. So um, that's it for this clip. Next couple ones will be me driving in, giving you guys my thoughts once it's broken in, and then you guys can hit up Brian and uh, set up an appointment. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Four to six days later.
again, guys. It's been about three or four days, maybe five days since the last clip. As you can tell, I got a haircut, so that's how long it's been. I mean, not terribly long, but I've gotten a chance to put about 400 miles on the transmission, and all I can say is it's been great. So before I start driving around and I discuss the driving dynamics of it, what I need to mention is that I have an XHP transmission tune. So if you guys haven't watched my video about that, um, the description's down below, so make sure to check it out. It's a little bit long, but if you are interested and more technically minded, then that's a good video for you. But based on what Brian mentioned, who you guys met earlier in the video, he suggested I go from stage three to stage two OTS tune on XHP. So I just want to note that I used to be on stage three and it was great, but based on what he was saying and just what a lot of people have been running in the drag groups is they've been all running stage two. So I figured if they're doing it, might as well do it on my end. So more of the details between the two is in the video down below where I go over the nitty gritty uh, in regards to the XHP transmission tune. So again, make sure to check that out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, drive this baby and we can discuss how the uh, driving dynamics is compared to a bone stock transmission. I did some data logging earlier, so um, I can send him over to my tuner, Mikey Body. So shout out to Mikey for watching this. If not, then if you are interested in getting tuned by the best guy, in my opinion, in the industry, hit him up. So I don't know if you guys felt, saw those jolts, not felt it because you guys are watching a video, but the difference between the stock one and a built one is that shifting from one, two, and three you can feel it. Whenever you are at a stoplight or stop sign, and then you go from second to third, you'll be able to feel that just jolt. It's not terrible, but you can definitely feel it. So um, the car drives exactly the same. The gearing is exactly the same. That's just the main difference. So I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of that. This transmission was built by Brian Scholl. It is not a pure, uh, transmission but some of the parts on there it's equivalent to it's not exactly the same I'm not super technically minded whenever it comes to that just because I have really no experience when it comes to that so if you guys are in the Texas super group or just anywhere in the area make sure to hit them up and you know get your transmission built so I'm not going to discuss the prices here since that is not I'm not at liberty to discuss that but I can tell you for a fact that I'm very happy with it. And if I was to do it again, I definitely would. So car is downshifting right now. Well, stoplight turned green, but as you can tell, as it goes up in the gears, it is still driving normally. So nothing too different there. Um, whenever you do go into sport mode or go into race mode, which is basically just disabling all the stability controls. So holding down the traction control, that button down for like about three seconds, it's gonna say VSC off. That's essentially race mode. So that one you can feel the shifts more. So once we get on the highway, I'll, you know, show you guys so you can see what, it, what it's like. And then I'll just kind of describe how I feel so you have an idea of what to expect if this is something that you are interested in doing to your car. So the reason why I did this transmission build is that I wanted to support a fellow group member who knows the shit. And I wanted to make sure that I'm not driving around Mexico and then I decide to punch it and then, you know, the transmission goes. Uh, definitely preventative maintenance. Um, I'm not pushing the car every single day but i mean i bought this car to enjoy it as you guys know from my previous videos so nothing about that has changed i'm still going to put a lot of miles on this car right now as of the recording of this video i have 45,383 miles 
on this car, so I definitely drive it. I know there's someone in the Mark V Super group that has like almost 100,000 miles, which is amazing. Uh, goes to say, goes to say like that if you do take care of the car, keep up with the routine maintenance, then it's gonna do great. So I don't know if you guys heard just the transmissions shifting, but that's where the NVH comes from. So um, I'm not gonna leave like a lot of details on here. Some of you guys might be interested in like the clutch packs, so on and so forth. I, I don't know all of that stuff. So you guys might wanna rewind back into that portion of the video where Brian's talking about it. But off camera, what he was discussing is that the clutch packs for the gears that were reinforced, it is 50% more, how would I say this, surface area to hold the power. And then I don't remember which specific part it was, but it went from six clutch packs to nine. Six to nine, huh? nice. Um, <laughs> um, so that's where this the strength of the transmission comes into play um, my car doesn't have a billet torque converter because i really don't need it this is not like a full-blown race car so there's not really a point in me doing it but you know if i decide to make this a full-blown race car then i will but uh, as you guys know if you are a subscriber of mine that this is my daily driver so it's been great I have taken so many road trips on it, uh, I keep saying that in my videos, but my ultimate goal for this car is to do a West Coast road trip and just go on Highway 1 in California. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, I'm in Oklahoma, so that's a long drive, but this is why I purchased this car and I'm going to drive it until the wheels fall off. Hopefully it never actually falls off, but uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be enjoyed. All right, about to get on the on-ramp here. I am now in sport mode. And then I'll stop talking so you all can hear how the car shifts. So again, this is XHP transmission tune stage two with a built transmission. Spicy. VSC is not off, so this is with traction control just because the tires are not warmed up, so I don't want to go too crazy. All right, once the highway straightens out a little bit, then I'll punch it but the car is still super responsive. It, I mean, ships really fast and it's really just satisfying to drive it. So we'll do it in manual mode so you all can uh, feel it or hear it. So fifth gear, fourth gear, So there it is shifting. Uh, that was about 25% throttle. The road right now, it's kind of banking to the right. So it's, uh, it's not ideal to really do a pull. And there's a little bit of traffic here in the streets of Mexico. So still responsive, just definitely more aggressive whenever you're in sport mode. Then I'll add my dash cam footage of me just punching it. Another super over there. This is seventh gear. Fifth, fourth, five, six. So I'll do a pull right here. No slipping at all, no slipping at all. So hitting the brakes hard, no slip. Uh, honestly, I don't wanna push it anymore, kind of pussying out right now, but just because a car can handle the power and Mikey sent me a, 
high boost map. I just honestly have to learn the car again because it, it just, it's just a whole different beast. Radar going off, so we're not gonna do any pulls here. Just gonna drive it easy, so we'll uh, go ahead and slap it back to auto. Turn off sport mode. Nope. Now we are in eighth gear, just cruising. So it drives exactly like stock, but you know that you can handle the power. So exiting right now, so still in eighth. And I'll shut up here so you guys can hear the transmission shift once we approach this stoplight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna get back on the highway, show a little cops. You guys can probably see it there on the camera. Four, five, six. Shifted, shifted, shifted. So a little bit of a jolt, but once you get into six, seven, eight, when you're just driving around normally, it's gonna feel exactly normal as uh, as a stock stock transmission. So going about seventy three miles per hour, seventy two drives normally there's not any increase in the vibration or the noise it's just it's basically how the transmission feels so to recap everything hit a bride shoal if you guys are in the southwest u.s definitely going to be worth your time great guy very very knowledgeable i am number seven in the transmissions that he's built and i'm very happy with it so 300 miles i'm going to continue pushing this car and enjoying it and i'll keep making videos about it so if you guys like this type of content let me know and if you have any questions leave them down below if you guys have any constructive criticism let me know i'm wanting to of course always improve but hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed today's video and make sure you guys like and subscribe, all that jazz and check out my other videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate it.